Like, he knows he can just whittle this guy down. He's already whittled, just looking to sink the ship. Look at this. Raise, re-raise. Blind versus blind. Call. Like, how do you call there? Look at this. Check jam. Called. Kings versus queens. Small blind, big blind. It's over. That's the final table, kids. And the guy who fucking pissed away his chip lead just got it all back. And more. I think he's going to have four, four mil now. Holy shit. Final table hype. And ace king first hand. Oh, come on, baby. The dude's got four million now. Holy shit. This is insane. We're fifth in chips with two thirds of the average and ace king in first or in the first hand. I'm doing it. This gets called super wide. Ace queen calls here all day long. I'll race for sure. This is my best chance to get into this tournament. Like I'm already in it, but this is my best chance to go for the win. I love it. I absolutely love that jam. ICM be damned. We have to do that. One point two million. Sitting here fourth in chips. Nice. I might as well let these guys know. I can't do it because we're down to less than two tables. I can't spam the table. That sucks. Should have done it earlier. Folding. All right, we're fourth in chips. We got a good shot here. Already picked up uh, 56 bucks. That's pretty good. And with the caches from earlier, we're up more than double our money on the day. Next position gets 72. So now it has 13.8 million chips. I always do this. The next blind level is 60,000. So we're going to divide it by 60,000. This is how many blinds are in the tournament total at the next blind level. Look at this. Open ender. Eight king jack. Wow, that is lucky. Yeah, right? Yeah, the short stack. Now he just doubled up. Qui-Gon now, baby. Look at this. Boom, down to eight. And I got both the big stacks on my right. How great is this for me? And I got 20 blinds and a dream, baby. With these guys on my right, I, I think right now my expectation is top three.
Look at this. Hold. Look at this nonsense. The dropping like flies, kids. That's a full house. We're down to six. And he makes, he makes a fucking full house too. Oh, that's so brutal. We're down to six. Two hands in a row. Boom, boom. Look at this guy. He's got 5.7 mil. Well, we're up to 89 bucks. No spoilers, Zachary. All good, but no spoilers, bro. Look at this. I'd have flopped the nuts. Like a bathhouse. <laughs> I mean, it's going up to 60K next hand. We're going to have fucking... Oh, we are, we're already at 60K. So, okay, so it's going up to 72K. So now, multiply this by 60K. 3.8 million divided by 72,000. At the next blind level, there's only 192 left. So right now, there's 213 blinds in the tournament. This guy has 93 of them. This is bananas. There's about 193 blinds at the next blind level. And we'll have 15 of them if we don't do anything. Like, this is a huge raise. All right, thank God. I was going to say, I, I still have to defend it. Jack 8, hold the ace king. Hold it, baby. Nice. Down to five. Come on. Got to get that top three, man. All the chips going to my right is beautiful. The more that happens, the greater chance I have of winning. I mean, we're not going to lose our mind. Now it's ICM hell. 106 bucks so far locked up for top five. Next pay jump is 135, then 187, 275, 445. Top three, man. I always judge myself by how many final tables I make, how many top threes I make, and how many wins I get. Those are the three categories. So we've made the final table. Let's get to that top three. I am last in chips, but it's very close with these players here. And they're in the blinds when I'm on the button, which is perfect. Because these players are going to raise a lot and they have to defend a lot. So they're going to get whittled. I'm playing push-fold poker, man. Oh, Courtney's home. Look at this. They're playing a pot. And a fucking straight card comes off. Holy shit. This is bananas. Yeah, you can whisper spoilers, just don't put them in chat. So you guys can whisper to each other, but just don't put them in chat, please. Like, there's 193, there's like, yeah, there's like 213 blinds in this tournament at this point. Between the two of them, these guys have 160 of them. That's crazy. What's up, Spade? How you doing, my man? Down to five. Have you taken that? Not yet. Thank you. I appreciate it, baby. I love you. Love you too. Thank you. Yeah, they definitely need to go out. Appreciate it, babe. Okay.
Tell your friends, kids, we got a final table, we gotta run! Oh, that's rough. I do have to open it. Three betting here is kind of really strong. This is really strong because of this player's call. This is really strong. I mean, it's a good squeeze, but it also has to be something good. So, yeah, good fold, good fold. Almost jammed it, but I had to think about it. With this big stack behind, man, how you like that fold now? Pocket eights, rewarded, rewarded for what's going on. Unless there's a raise and an all-in behind us, we really can't fold. And if the raise is here and the all-in is here, we really can't fold. Uh, or we, we have to fold, but other than that, we can't fold really here. It sucks so bad if this guy jams, but I really don't think I can fold it. I'd rather he jam or fold. I don't want to see a call either. But I don't think we're folding the eights here with 15 big blinds. Blinds are going to go up in three minutes. Yeah, we're getting it in here. It doesn't matter what these guys do. Nice. Hold. Hold me, baby. Hold me, baby. Come on. Fucking hole. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Boom. 1.9 mil. And we're pulling away. I like that king queen fold now. I'm not raising here. This is the most vulnerable spot. If I raise now, these guys are going to jam quite often. And they're going to jam against each other a lot. So we don't want to obstruct that. We don't want to stop this from happening. Sitting in third comfortably with 1.9 million. The next closest guy has 1.1. And then the bottom guy has a mill ball. I mean, here's the thing, man. We double up through this guy, this guy specifically. It changes the entire tone of the tournament where we can actually, I would count on myself to get top two. If we can double up through this guy. This guy, not so much because this guy will still have a lot of chips, but I mean, either one's awesome, great. But if we double up through this guy specifically and cut him down five handed, oof. Tournament dynamic. All right. If this guy raises, it's kind of gross. All right. I'm, I'm mostly looking to defend here. That's a big bet, but it has to be a big bet. We're obviously defending. It's a fairly good flop for defending. That's pretty awesome. He should back off.
I'm kind of blocker betting. I just want to see if he'll fold a king or something. He did have the heart. Yeah, that's fine. It's a good call, honestly. But, uh, I, I mean, if I jam it, he doesn't call. But there's no way to know he doesn't have a good heart. All right, hopefully it folds to me so I can jam on this guy. I mean, that's just that's just one of those ones where I can't bet any more than that because he could absolutely have the queen of hearts. It's very easy. Uh, I think we fold now versus this guy because this player is prone to jam. Uh, I like the blocker bet though. I could have just checked it in that exact instance. This is why I didn't. This is why I didn't jam because he's supposed to jam a lot here. This can get called very easily by King Jack suited any pair. Uh, he shouldn't be raising that wide where he can't call off 14 big blinds. With his stack, he absolutely should not. Still in fourth. Still got like 1.3. I mean, this guy is just betting every flop. That queen's kind of good. He should call here with any pair because this guy never has a queen. He only ever has a seven. He only ever has a flush draw. He only ever has a three. If you can beat a five here, you're supposed to call, sir. But you're a fucking idiot. I mean, it's flattening out again, so we're all still pretty much even. Um, it's tough, but I have to make the raise. That's what I was worried about, was this guy. Because if this guy jams, it's kind of bad. But if this guy jams, it's it's a very strong hand. I don't know what to do against this jam because the guy's so prone. Back in third. Uh, I'm going to let this one go. I know it's way too tight. But I feel like things are going to happen between these with these guys. So you kind of tighten up a lot. Even though we're five-handed, you kind of tighten up a lot. Like, this should never happen. This raise should never happen. This should only be a jam from this guy. With his position and both the big stacks are in the big blind, his range should only be good hands and he should only be jamming. Like you don't open, you know, jack 10 there. You jam it if you're in the cutoff. Why do I? Why did I say jack 10? Because now I feel like he's got trip jacks. It's a good lead because the guy's rarely going to have a jack. But it's more likely after he checks the flop. Did he just call it? Wow, now there's four jacks. Well, if you have a full house, just jam it in, sir. But you should never fold because he's going to have a flush draw a lot. So you're going to be facing an all-in here every time. Even from a jack, you should be facing an all-in here. Yeah, the, the big stack wins with a five, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it's just so dumb to call for a gut shot and an overcard. Like, the guy's just crippling himself. Like, you can't play poker that way anymore, man. We're, you know, we're too tight now. Yeah, I can't call it. I like him jamming out of first, though. He's jamming wide. He's not considering the payouts, which is fine, but uh, he's going to get caught. He's, he's now patient zero to go out next. <laughs> this one's going to get walked a lot, unless this guy has a hand. This is going to get walked a lot, but I can't do anything with the 4-3. All right, my man's still raising. My my dude here tightened up considerably. Like, I guess it's because of the big stack and the and the payout implications. But like, I don't know what hand just calls here from the big blind with fucking fourteen blinds. I don't I don't know what hand calls here. Like, there's really no good hand to call here. All the hands that you call here should be leading this flop. See, I said it should be leading this flop, and that's never a pair. So if you have a queen here, like king queen, you just check, you just call and then get it in on the turn. Because he should be jamming all draws. Call. It's an easy call. 
If you have a queen, it's an easy call. He, I know he's got a queen. It's an easy call. What a fucking idiot. Yo, thank you, uh, my man. I can't believe how often this guy calls on the flop when the dude's committed to a turn jam. And then he just folds to the turn jam. We talked about this. We talked about this this morning. Uh, we talked about that this morning doing a quiz where it's like on the grips quiz where it was like, if you're not going to call the all in bet, don't call the one that sets you up for it. The guy's obviously going to go for it. He was in last place. Now I'm in last place because of his fucking nonsense. I mean, I'm still okay. I haven't lost that many chips for my high point of 1.9. All right. We just raise. We're calling all jams. This player defends quite wide, so it's going to get interesting. That's what I want. I want that jam. Let's do it. Oh, queen. Come on. Don't fucking cooler me. Queen. Queen. What a cooler, five-handed. What are you going to do? 106 bucks. What are you going to do? I think I played it as good as I could play it. What was it, like 106 80 For fifth place. Let's add it up. So today I cashed for uh, 2490 plus 106.86 I believe it was plus 37.50 minus our buy-ins of 48.95 so we profited $120 today man that's pretty damn good um, going out on a cooler, nothing you can really do. Uh, he's going to jam all pairs. He's going to jam ace jack suited. He's going to jam ace queen off, obviously. And when we have ace queen, there's just no reason to ever fold there. So it is what it is. I'm happy with my performance. I did very well. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, I'm going to host somebody in a minute here. Probably dramatic DJ. Uh, he's still on, man. He said he was going to do like a 10 hour stream. He's still on. I'm going to send it back over to him. And uh, I'll see you guys in the morning at noon Vegas time or a little earlier. Have a great night, guys. Thanks for all for coming out. Thanks for all the donations, all the subs. I really appreciate it. It really is motivating. Don't forget to check the YouTube. This final table will be up there. And uh, we'll see you guys later. Have a great night.